Good morning, friends, and happy the Wednesday. Uh, today, Brian has a, another doctor's appointment. This one is for his neck and his spine. Um, a couple years ago, he had surgery on his shoulder, and we were convinced that he really didn't need shoulder surgery, that it was all about his neck and an injury that he had when we were playing volleyball one time. And uh, so his neck has actually been bothering him um, ever since well about two weeks ago or so he wasn't sure if he was sleeping wrong and then he kind of realized that he was riding his bike and when he rides his bike he has to like hunch over and it's pinching the nerves in his neck which is causing irritation and swelling and yeah not a good feeling so he is going to the neurosurgeon today uh, at sports med uh, to see you know what they can do if they have any advice if he has to get an MRI which he's pretty convinced that he'll probably need an MRI which would be he freaks out at those which I do too who wouldn't um, so I'm gonna obviously take him over there um, and drop him off again it's one of those things where I cannot go in again because of the whole COVID thing so um, I'm just going to drop him off and then I'm probably just going to go grab some lunch while I'm out. Um, I'm just going to, because it's right across the street from my tzatziki's place. So I'm going to grab a tzatziki's and eat and then wait for him to be done. I don't know how long it's going to take him uh, in the doctor's office. So we shall see. Um, but he is actually out for his walk right now. I actually just took a shower and I'm about ready to do my makeup and my hair. I'm just in here getting all of my stuff together. And usually when I do my makeup and my hair, well, my makeup in here, I go to a YouTube channel and I watch who's ever up and available. So right now I can watch Crystal Tara or the Tim Tracker. So I'm thinking I might catch up with Crystal Tara right now and then... Um, I will watch the Tim Tracker while I am doing my hair. So that's what I'm going to do. I will see you guys when I am done. I keep burping up like acid reflux. Um, and it just like, it's like gross. And it like burns a little bit. So I might need to go take an antacid to keep that from happening. Um, I'm going to pull my hair back. I have fans blowing because I'm dying. We need to get ceiling fans for these rooms too. These rooms did not come with ceiling fans, so eventually we're gonna get ceiling fans for these rooms. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and cool off and let my face dry off a little bit. I have been spritzing my face with the um, Kula, what is this called, makeup setting spray. It just feels so good to like spray my face with it. It just feels so refreshing. It's almost out though. I wish I could get another one. It came in one of my Fab FabFitFun boxes, which, I actually have a FabFitFun box over here that I haven't even opened yet. I think it came back in May, and I, I think it was May, and I had all my stuff packed up. My room was a complete mess, so I didn't have any like place to do a video. So maybe I'll do that FabFitFun box maybe tomorrow or something, and I'll do it on the back patio where I will probably sweat my kahunas off. But, um, all right, I'm going to get makeup on. I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, guys, so I'm sitting in the parking lot. I dropped Ryan off, I don't know, maybe about 45 minutes or so ago. And I'm actually just sitting in the parking lot, just waiting for him to be done. I really don't have to go anywhere, and I really don't need to. And I just kind of figured, too, by the time I, like, got to where I needed to go or wanted to go, he would call and say, okay, he's ready for me to pick him up. I do know that they just did some x-rays on him, and they put him in the room. So he's talking to the doctor now, I'm assuming. And I'm sure it's not going to be long after that they'll probably just review his x-rays and see um like what is wrong with his neck and stuff and then he'll text me and tell me that he's ready so that'll be nice um i actually just kind of moved over here in the parking lot where it's secluded there's nobody like around me and i just backed into this spot it's actually right next to the garage and stuff where you can park inside the garage but anyway so i'm actually just sitting here watching a few um uh youtube videos and then I think after we leave here, we're gonna go see if he if he can get into um, his hair port hair hair get as get a hair 
Oh my God, get a haircut appointment. So I'm actually gonna call, ooh. Ooh. What is that, ambulance fire truck? Goodness. Ooh. And so yeah, we're gonna check into that. And then while he is actually getting his hair done, I might go into Hobby Lobby while I'm waiting for him to do that and just check out some of those frames that I was going to check out last night. Um, so, yeah. I'm. Oh, I have a message. Do I have a message? Oh, my mom. There's Brian. And my mom. Brian Caddo sent two images. Oh, he sent two images. Would you like to reply? Alrighty, so Brian's been done for a little while now and basically he has a compressed spine and he has hypersensitive reflexes. So like normally like when the doctor would hit our knee, it would go like this. His are like boing, like really, really quick to, so like hypersensitive reflexes. So basically they're saying that he has like um, nerve damage in his spine as well. So he's going back in for an MRI next Wednesday. So um, at 7 a.m. So we have an early morning morning next Wednesday um, but then we stopped off and we were gonna eat at this tapas place but it wasn't open yet it opens at 430 and he is getting a haircut right next to it I ran in here to Hobby Lobby really quick to find a frame for one of my well for those posters that I was showing you guys so the frames that I need are some of them are probably gonna have to be um, like I could probably fit those elf El, what are those Olaf ones in a like 11 by 14 I'm gonna bring them in it's like so like next time I come I'll bring them in and I'll see <clears throat> because I don't want to guess at it and then get home and be upset about it so I'm just gonna bring them back I'll just bring them with me next time and I'll go look to see what size they are and then I did get one frame though I got a 24 by 30 six 32 anyway something like that uh frame for my retro mickey mouse poster that i got so i will be able to hang that up so that'll be really nice and cute and now i'm gonna go over and um sit in front of the haircut place and wait for brian yeah and then tomorrow is thursday so basically i have to pack tomorrow but we also have a guy coming to install two um electrical plugs for our house but and then brian has a meeting tomorrow morning so he's going to be gone so i will be home but i actually have to start packing as well so that is what I have to do. But I'm happy um, that we're going to Florida. It's gonna be some nice relaxation time. So I'm gonna pick him up and then um, I don't know what we're gonna do next. We shall see. Alrighty, so we are back. I got one frame, the 24 by 36. And I'm actually gonna put this Mickey poster in it. This is my other one that I got today. It just has the different Mickeys throughout the years in it and it's going to fit inside of that frame. So I'm super excited about that. And then the other one that I have is the same size. I have to just go get another frame for that one. So that is what I'm going to do. And we are going to call it a night. Tomorrow I'm going to start packing for our trip for the weekend. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning friends and happy Thursday. Um, I just took a shower a little bit ago, put my makeup on. I have got to run to Publix really quick and pick up a few things for us to bring to Florida with us this weekend. And Brian just left because he has a meeting this morning and we have two electricians here putting in two plugs, um, one in our pantry and one upstairs for our popcorn machine that we got. Um, but it is a little after nine o'clock and i had actually been working on the closet in here too um just kind of getting it's going to be bright so oh, maybe not some of brian's clothes like more organized over here and then eventually i'm going to switch out all of his hangers and use the felt ones that i have been using on mine i pretty much have all of mine on the felt hangers except for a few stragglers right over here in the corner so i'm going to work on that and then i see one right there that has a navy blue and then two plastic ones i see actually three so there's four in that section and then a handful over here in that section that I still need to work 
work on. So I've been slowly working on that and getting those done. And then after I come back from Publix, I've got to start packing. I've already laid out pajamas for myself. Um, I'm going to have to get bathing suits and shorts and shirts and stuff like that for um, Florida this week. We're going to be gone um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Um, we're going to be staying in Pensacola and then Monday night we're going to be staying in Anniston because Brant Brian has a business uh, thing on Tuesday in Anniston. So I have to pack accordingly. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So if you guys are wanting to hang out, please stick around and hang out with me and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it didn't take them very long to actually do the plugs. I think they got the one upstairs done and then the one right here done, which is so good. Perfect. So I can plug my water in. Alrighty, so I moved everything back over here. Because they put the plug right here on this side, I actually moved my water thing over here on this side and then I moved this over here, which is perfectly fine. So now we have, now we'll have cold, cold water and hot, hot water and I am so happy about that finally so yeehaw I actually want to get another shelf to put right here it will not look like that because those were like the custom ones that they made but I do want to get another shelf I mean and maybe even like two because I know I can't do two because we have to be able to lift that up and put the other one on here so I just want to get like another shelf to put right there that way I can store more things because as you guys can see like my paper towels don't exactly fit way up there they're kind of hanging down so I kind of just want to get one that I can store a few more items up in there and I will be pretty much good to go and even though this pantry is like half the size of my other one it actually worked out so well so I'm happy about that and now I'm gonna run to the grocery store really quick and pick up a few items that we need for the trip I made my list I'm getting um like water English muffins um, peanut butter, um, candy bars, like in the little bags, and then just like some regular like snacks. So that's what I'm going to get, like things that we like, like when we're here snack wise. So that's what I'm going to get. I have my list. I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to go. See you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, so I am back from Publix. It was a really, really quick trip. I knew kind of what I needed to get when I went in there, got what I needed and got right out. I try to stay in the stores um, a very minimal amount of time because I cannot stand wearing those masks. <laughs> and um, and then if I have a hot flash on top of the mask, then it just makes it like 10 times worse for me. Um, but I always do carry my fan with me and I always have it blowing on me um, when I do get hot. But let me show you guys what I picked up really, really quickly at Publix. This is basically just for our little trip um, this weekend. Um, and then I picked up two things for um, additional things, items for dinner tonight. So these are the things that I picked up for our little trip to Florida this weekend. We will be bringing our toaster since they are not offering breakfast at this hotel. So we will bring our toaster, which is not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> I picked up the English muffins for Brian. He likes the cinnamon raisin. I picked up the bagel thins for myself. That way they're not the big full bagel, but just the smaller ones. And I did pick up cream cheese to go with this as well. I picked up some mini pretzels because these are like one of my favorite like snacks. So I got these and then I got some peanut butter to go with the um, English muffins for Brian. And then I saw these. <clears throat> I am a huge like caramel fan or caramel, whatever you guys want to say it. Um, I picked these up. I've never had these before. It's called Smart Food. They seem, you know, they have like a little less calories than normal stuff. But this is the caramel and cheddar mix. I picked up two of those. I'm going to see if we can, like, we'll bring them and snack on those. Um, <clears throat> this is for tonight, herb and butter rice for our chicken that I have. Because the other day when I was at Publix, I actually picked up some chicken. I had actually picked this, actually it's not chicken, I take that back. It is a Cajun bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. So I actually bought that. So that rice will still be fine. And then I bought some vegetables to go with it. So that is good. And then here is the cream cheese that I got for the trip. And then I did pick up a case of water. So we will have that with us as well. And then um, for the most part, that is it. Um, so I'm gonna start packing and getting stuff together, bring the suitcases in my room. And uh, yeah, I'll check with you guys later. 
Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys the little bags that I put together for our little trip. Um, in this bag is the toaster down here. I have some knives in here for spreading the peanut butter. Um, paper plates, I know that's a lot of paper plates for the amount of time that we're gonna be gone, but I just grabbed a handful, no big deal. Um, his English muffins, my bagels down here, and of course then the peanut butter right here. And then in this bag is the chips. So those ones I just shared with you, and then the pretzels and stuff. And then anything else that we feel that we might wanna add in here, we can. But for now, for the most part, I have those two bags ready, and I am about ready to go grab the suitcases and start packing and bringing those to our room. Alrighty, so this is the new bag that I got. I shared with you guys the other day. I picked this up at Kohl's when I was with my mom last Friday. Uh, I pretty much have everything that I need inside of this bag, which is really good. I ended up taking my um, one polka dotted thing, that little hanging thing that you put in the shower, and taking all of the stuff out and actually putting it in my other like Steve Madden bag. So that's my shampoo, um, hair stuff, um, shower stuff, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that good stuff. Then my hair brush and comb are right here. My daily like meds are right there. So like my probiotic and stuff in the center part. And then right here is where I have my mirror. And then um, I will put my makeup right inside this little area here so it'll fit in there perfectly. I have my hair dryer and then my curling iron will go in there. Uh, if I even decide to do my curling iron, well, I'll bring it just in case I might want to curl my hair. But anyway, for the most part, all this stuff is in here. And then I have Brian's sitting right here, which will go inside of the suitcase. And so far I have both of our undies in this area here, mine there, his here, my jammies here, and then his jammies there. And then now I just have to kind of find shorts and clothing to wear for um, the days that we're going to be there. Um, I'm also, I also have to pack our pool bag, beach towels, and bathing suits for the beach, which I'm super excited about. Ooh, the beach. I love the beach. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And I actually also um, condensed all of my like big, for example, this was the shower gel that I was bringing with me or the shower wash that I was bringing with me, which is the big, large one. I actually just brought my really small one in there. Same with my, um, same with my baby oil that I use. And a couple of other things too that I um, went smaller with. So now I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna figure out which bathing suits I want to bring, and um, Brian's as well, and then clothing for the days that we're going to be there. So, and I know it's gonna be hot because it's Florida, because that's always a given. And then I also know we're gonna go to dinner, you know, probably tomorrow night, Saturday night, Sunday night, we're gonna be going to dinner. So obviously I wanna either you know, we want to look nice when we go to dinner. So, that's what I got to pack for that. I was thinking about bringing a dress. So, I thought about packing my navy blue little dress that I wore a couple of weeks ago to my mom's. So, I don't know. We shall see. So, I'm going to have to pick through my dresses and see what I have available. See what I want to wear and what I want to bring. And then we'll go from there. And then I have to find shirts and shorts for Bray. So I'm gonna lay all that stuff out on the bed as I get it all out. So, and Brian should be home any minute and I am actually making some really quick lunch um, to eat and then um, I'll get back to packing. Alrighty, so I am continuing to pack. I have got uh, all of Brian's shorts and stuff in here that we are gonna be bringing with us. I got his sleeping stuff in here. Um, these are just the three shorts that I have picked out for uh, let's see Saturday Sunday and Monday. I still his Tuesday clothes are going to be for a work thing um, I have two shirts in here that he can wear down to the beach And then I have my uh, jammies in my pool. Well, no, these are just my jammies real quick And then um, all of our beach stuff is right here. So I have towels right here our beach bag right here um, This has got um, my swimsuits in there. I'm bringing two bottoms and four tops just in case just whatever and then these are the swim trunks that i'm bringing for brian which i'm gonna go ahead and put over here inside of the suitcase so that is done and then um i have to fold up these clothes right here really quick 
and get that put away. And then the other stuff that I have to fix, oh, and I hung up our clothes already in my car. Um, I hung up three dresses for myself and then four, I think, dressier shirts for Brian to wear for when we go out to dinner at night because I know we're going to be going to dinner obviously every night while we're gone. Um, so tomorrow night, so Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night, we're going to be going, you know, out to dinner. And then Tuesday we'll be home. So I just got to find him another pair of shorts for, no, I don't. I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday in there, I'm trying to count how many days. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. And then Tuesday, he'll probably wear a pair of jeans and a work shirt his master cam logo shirt for the work thing so yeah i'm coming along really really well and uh yeah now i just got to put our toy our um towels inside of our beach bag here and then this will be all done and this is the beach bag that i used for when we went on our cruise i absolutely love this bag because it's got so many like compartments in it that i can hold things like cell phone camera you know, you name it, it's got everything in here. So this is why I really like it. I will try to link it in the description box below if anybody's interested in it. Um, these are the packing cubes that I got with a FabFitFun box, I think last year, last summer maybe. And I'm actually using them for my bathing suits. And I usually use some for shoes as well. But that's another thing I gotta do. I gotta find, get black sandals and brown sandals. So, um, and then Brian can wear a ton of shoes and his brown flip-flops as well. And I actually have my shoes in here as well for the beach. So I have those in here. Everything like that goes in our beach bag. So I'm gonna fold these up and then I'm going to put the towels in the beach bag and get that all done, set that aside because then it'll be finished. And then, yeah, I just have to figure out um, shorts and stuff for me for the day. Like when we're not at the beach type of thing, so. That's what I'm gonna do next. Alrighty, packing complete. I'm just gonna need Brian to go. What does my eyebrow always look like? It's funky. They just did them the other day. Anyway, um, all I'm gonna do is need Brian to go through his bag and just to make sure that he has everything that he needs, like as far as toiletries go. I always like him just to double check. Um, I have all of the stuff that I'm gonna wear, all the stuff that he's gonna wear. I might grab two extra like t-shirts just in case just like regular t-shirts that he can just throw on because I know he'll be soaked if we go like walk the pier at any time. So I might grab two more of those. These are my shoes. I have my bathing suits right down in here as well in the same little um, packing cube. All of my shorts and shirts are in there. I have my dresses hanging and we're good. We are good to go. Shoes. Um, the other thing I have to do now is pack my well, makeup, which is going to go in that bag tomorrow. Um, I need to make sure that we grab a fan to bring with us for the room. And then, um, what was I going to do too? My computer bag. Because I have to remember to bring my computer bag and all my charging stuff for my computer. That way I can upload while I'm there. And yeah, we should be good. That was easy packing. I like the fact that I can like bring everything out, lay it on the bed, and I don't know why I didn't do that before. It just didn't seem easier before. It seems easier now. I don't know. But anyway, we're good to go. We're gonna be leaving for Florida. Yay! So this is the squash that I bought earlier today at Publix, and it was already cut up. So basically all I did is just put it inside of here on top of tin foil with a little bit of um, uh, oil. And this is the oil that I kind of used. This is the um, Cola Vita extra virgin olive oil. And I just kind of sprinkled a little bit on top of here. And then I just stirred it around, added some salt, pepper. I ordered, um, ordered, I sprinkled some of the black sesame seed on it. And I also sprinkled this Italian seasoning on it as well. So that is what I sprinkled all over it. And now it's ready. I'm actually just gonna put it in the refrigerator so it can just stay cold while we wait for dinner time. And uh, those on the grill and the steaks. 
and that is going to be our dinner for tonight plus the rice that i um picked up as well so that is going to be dinner and i think i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here that way i can get this up and edited so you guys can have it for tomorrow morning um so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the past couple of days i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys at the beach bye